Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darren and we are at Singapore Island Country Club's Island Course. It's also known as the Old Course. We have Ryan Ang, our very own Singapore Open Amateur Champion, showing us around at his home club today. This course has brought back really good and fond memories. I used to play a few competitions here and during then we had to carry our bag up and down the hills and this undulating uh, course. It's a really good test of your golf skills as well as your physical stamina. Some of the par fours are really short so I place a pin call out so you know where the green is. And there is a common theme where the fairways are sloping severely so some of the holes you may have to actually aim far right or even far left so that you can keep the ball in play. Hole 3 is the most scenic hole. I think it's shaped like a peninsula uh, edging out towards the reservoir. And on this specific drive, you have to place or even drive your ball towards the center or right side of the ferry. To the moon. <laughs> and as you walk up the hill and towards where Ryan is heading now, you can see this beautiful view. And I must say that uh, it's really breathtaking. And I would actually spend some time to okay. admire the view from this ferry. The greens here can get uh, really slow in the morning, especially when there's a morning dew. And when it reaches in the afternoon, it can get really fast, especially when they cut it really short and they roll the greens over and over again. Wow! Hole 4 is another par 5 that's next to hole 3. This plays longer than the previous hole as it's as we are going uphill. Today we have a bit of a headwind, but I don't think it's a problem for Ryan to reach it in too. Oh. His second shot did not turn out that well and now the pin is blocked by this huge tree in front of him. He's got a lob wedge and he's trying to hook the ball around this tree. Unfortunately, it did not turn out the way he wanted to. However, he's still able to save par from this spot. Hole 5 is a par 3. This time we're going downhill and the pin is in the front. If you look at uh, Ryan's ball, it's actually sitting up high on the tee. So this means that he's going to hit it really high up. And let the ball spin a bit more so that it can land softly onto the green. Hole 6 is a long par 4 at 412 meters. If I'm not wrong, I think this should be the index 1. You want to keep your ball in the center or right side of the fairway as this fairway kicks the ball aggressively towards the left. And if your ball is sitting at the bottom of this hill, you might get blocked by the tree. Ryan's ball was sitting on a flyer line. So with a pitching match, he attacks the pin. Stick it. However, the ball landed in the center of the green and it rolled out to this spot here. Hole 7 is a par 4 at 379 meters. That'll be fun. I really like how this par 4 looks. <laughs> you have the trees sort of forcing you to play a shot accurately in between them. 
and you have to keep the ball low otherwise you would have you will hit the branches or even the leaves Ryan hit this exceptionally well and now he's left with an uphill ball above feet lie at 124 meters he played this at about 135 meters because of the uphill and as well as there's headwind blowing into us he came up slightly short And to be a good and top amateur, saving power from this distance is definitely a must. Good save. Hole 8 is a short par 4, only because of the slope. If you hit it centre or centre right, the slope will actually kick the ball forward or push the ball forward. So you may actually leave yourself with a short iron or a wedge in. You will always want to keep your ball below the hole on this green. The only defense of this green Shot. would be its sloping greens. Hole 9 is a par 3 at 160 meters. Golfers that has played this hole know how difficult this hole is. It's difficult only because of its greens. You do not want your ball to go past the hole as it slopes really severely downwards and sometimes you might even putt your ball off the green. And yeah, Ryan has actually placed his ball past the hole. It's not easy. Now he's saving par from just outside the green and watch how gently he actually taps this. Saving bogey from there is actually a great score as I've seen many walking away with double pass. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys on the back nine. May the course be with you.